we all tend to think that these are the others who are misled by fake news and who believe in disinformation, but in fact all of us are vulnerable to disinformation and even you believe in some uh, forms of disinformation. The most important thing is that you should acknowledge that you can be manipulated as well and if uh, a source makes you angry, makes you very happy, makes you very afraid all the time, check the source and most probably it's a fake news source. We discussed how uh, truth is under assault from more authoritarian regimes than ever before, how truth is being corroded, uh, including in many of our Western democratic societies, about the role that free and independent media can play, including groups like Radio for Europe, Radio Liberty, which I lead, to counter that effort to undermine truth and to provide objective reporting and independent news and information to a broad group of citizens who ultimately are the last line of defense when it comes to countering disinformation. One of the important things that came up was that it's critical as we start to tackle the complex problem of disinformation that we keep at the center the importance of protecting free expression and freedom of information in the digital space. I also think it's very important that we think proactively about developing digital literacy and civic education programs that can help people be better prepared for the information they're going to encounter online. It's very important for governments to bring the fight against disinformation to their national security strategies and to actually bring to their executive cabinet level the fight against disinformation, which is a very important part in securing democracy and actually not only fighting but preventing attacks before they happen.